And I like that. What's up everybody, my name is Scott and you're watching Kentucky Ballistics and today I've got some really cool revolvers to show you. Taurus has a new line of revolvers called the Raging Hunter series. I've really been wanting to try them out. They're finally here and I'm super excited to show them to you. So first, let me show you what we have today, tell you a little bit about their features and then we're gonna have some fun. So today we have three revolvers. First we have the Raging Hunter 357 Magnum with an eight and three eighths inch barrel. Next we have a Raging Hunter 44 Magnum with a six and three quarters inch barrel. And last, we have a Raging Hunter 44 Magnum with an eight and three eighths inch barrel. So the Raging Hunters are offered in three different calibers. You have 357 Magnum, 44 Magnum, and 454 Casul. The 357 Magnum holds seven rounds, the 44 Magnum holds six, and the 454 Casul holds five. Unfortunately, we don't have a 454 Casul with us here today. They're offered in two different colors. You got solid black or you have two-tone. I didn't know how I felt about the two-tone at first, but it's starting to grow on me. I think I like the way it looks. So your barrel is ported, you have a rail on top for an optic, adjustable rear sights, single or double action. All in all, I think this revolver looks really cool. It looks like something that would be in Call of Duty. I'm really excited to try these out. I've got lots of different targets for us to shoot today. I've got some good ammo. I've got Federal and Underwood ammo for the 357 Magnum and nothing but Underwood ammo for the 44 Magnum. So you know that's some hot stuff. I think that's enough talking. I'm ready to start shooting. All right, well, we're gonna start out with the 357 Magnum. We're about 15 yards back and we have a defense target, still target set up. That's smooth. Not a lot of recoil either. I lost count. <laughs> I like that. I think the ported barrel and the barrel length helps a lot. Really tames that recoil. Now let's try out the 44 Magnum. We're loaded up with some Underwood ammo, 240 grain jacket and hollow points. Woo. That is nice. That is really nice. <laughs> I like that a lot. Again, the ported barrel really seems to help with the recoil. Now let's try the 44 Magnum with the eight and three eighths inch barrel. And we're gonna be loaded up with some Underwood ammo, 300 grain jacket at hollow points. Man, that's impressive. I really like that. The barrel length and the ported barrel, I'm telling you, it's really helping with that recoil. And that double action really isn't that bad. That's pretty smooth. <laughs> that was the 357 Magnum, by the way. Now let's try out the 44 Magnum. table didn't make it through the last video i thought it was okay but it wasn't i couldn't even fold it back together it's trashed i don't have a new table for today so we're just going to set them up on these railroad ties let's start out with some cantaloupe 357 magnum Wow, threw cantaloupe all the way over there. 44 Magnum, six inch barrel. <laughs> wow. 44 Magnum, eight inch barrel. Oh, we just barely nicked that one. Up next, we got some cabbage and we got some eggplants. Because nobody likes eggplants. 357 Magnum. Forty-four Magnum with a six-inch barrel. We hit the cabbage, but we just nicked the eggplant. Forty-four Magnum with an eight-inch barrel. Did we hit the eggplant? That's the most important thing. Yeah, we did. We hit it. Check that out. Goodness. Get out of here, eggplant. 
It's watermelon time. We sure did. Ugh. That's gonna make a raccoon really happy. There's an eggplant in my tree. 357 Magnum. <laughs> 44 Magnum, six inch barrel. Wow, that vaporized that watermelon. 44 Magnum, eight inch barrel. That's a good piece of watermelon. Mmm. That's good. I think I'm gonna stop shooting. I'm just gonna eat all this watermelon. Alright. Get some cinder blocks. Let's see if we can hit this shaving cream. <laughs> that was awesome. For the 44 Magnum, we got something special, some underwood ammo, extreme penetrators. So we'll hit the shaving cream with a hollow point, and then we'll hit the cinder block with an extreme penetrator. Oh my gosh, vaporize that shaving cream. Wow. I'm not really sure what happened there. I was aiming dead center. Let's try again. Well, that time we hit dead center, so I guess that was my fault the first time. <laughs> okay, let's clean this up with some water jugs. Forty-four magnums. That's awesome. Let's finish up with some rapid fire with each gun. 357 Magnum. Woo. <laughs> Six inch barrel, 44 Magnum. Oil, but still not bad. And last, the eight inch barrel 44 Magnum. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Man, I like that. Well, I'd really like to keep shooting, but I'm pretty much out of ammo and it's starting to get dark, so we're gonna wrap up today's video. What do I think about the Taurus Raging Hunter? I liked it. It performed well, it was accurate, it was reliable. All in all, I think you're getting a lot of bang for your buck with this gun, especially if you're looking to get into handgun hunting. The sights were dead on right out of the box, so you can slap an optic on there and you're good to go. If I had to give you one negative, it would be the cylinder release. Most revolvers just have one release for the cylinder. This one has two. You have one here and here. You have to push them both to open it. I'm just not a big fan of that. Would it steer me away from the revolver? Probably not. Out of the three, this was my favorite, the 44 Magnum with the six inch barrel. I like the eight inch barrels, but there was just something about this one today that grew on me. Well, I think that's gonna cover it for today. Don't forget to check out Kentucky Ballista's clothing. There's a link in the description down below. If you enjoyed today's video, be sure and give it a like. And if you're not already subscribed to Kentucky Ballistics, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to hit that bell for notifications and share the video with a friend. Also, be sure to check me out on Patreon, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Links to all those can be found in the description down below or on my website, KentuckyBallistics.com. Again, my name is Scott. Thank you so much for watching Kentucky Ballistics. And I'll see you next time.